Hey guys, don't think I forgot, we are back with another episode of buying every Jordan for my collection. And this time, we're looking at a Jordan 7. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Mike from SneakerHistory.com and we are back with another video. Guys, thank you so much for joining. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And just like the intro said, we are back with another episode of buying every Jordan from my collection. And we're in episode four now, I think? Yeah, four. Yeah, it's been a little while to take a break because I just had a lot of things I had to do. But again, this is ongoing throughout the year. And just like you guys saw, we're looking at a Jordan 7. And this time it's a Jordan 7 Flint that actually released last year. Now, this is one of those Jordans that, you know, I don't want to say was a brick because I don't really believe in that because they definitely have sold out along the way. The resale prices aren't super crazy, but this is one that if you're looking for a Jordan, I actually personally saw this one on shelves after release day, which was actually kind of cool with me. I mean, I'm not mad about it because again, I'm the person who wants to be able to walk into a store and buy a Jordan. Now, I didn't buy this one from you know a store. I actually traded with uh, one of our Discord members, Mike. So from Mike to Mike, thank you so much, man. I appreciate the trade. And uh, I really do, I really do appreciate it, man. These are really clean. I actually haven't had a pair of seven since 2012 when the Raptors uh, retroed on Black Friday. So I sold those off a while ago. But I have to say, I think I like the Flint better because I like the the white and the uh, the gray contrast on these. Now we won't spend too long on this shoe. Again, this is more meant to talk about adding every Jordan to the collection. And right now we have our seven here. We have done our six. We have done our 14 and we've done our Jordan one. Now guys, that means we need to get all the way up to Jordan 15. So we have 11 more to go. We have about nine more months of the year. So we'll see what happens. And of course, the main goal at the end is to try to get either the Origin Story Spider-Man 1 or the Nigel Sylvester 1 to really top off the, the collection. Now, guys, this particular Jordan 7, again, is the Flint colorway that originally released in 2006. Now, the first thing you'll notice is that the Flint on this color, or on this shoe, is a bit darker than we see on the actual, you know, the OG, which I have a picture up there for us. Now, that doesn't bother me so much because A, I don't even remember the original, and B, I think I'd rather the darker suede because we all know that when you walk around with suede, it can get stained just like that from anything. I mean, I don't, I probably should, but I don't really put the kind of protectant spray on my suede shoes. Like, again, I probably should do. Uh, if anybody wants to sponsor that, you know, go to find me. But, uh, yeah, I'm okay with the darker suede. Just, again, because things happen when you wear your shoes. And I actually do wear them. They're not going to sit in the box. Now, as we get into the shoe, of course, the main thing is that flint suede that you're going to see here on the toe box. It's nice. It's a very nice suede. It, it is probably the best material of the shoe because as we get towards the, the overlays of the shoe, which are done in the leather, this is actually going to be a mixture of both synthetic and real leather that's done in kind of a pebble slash tumble look. Um, it's not that good, honestly, but pretty standard for what you get with Jordans. But it is what it is. You know, I can't complain. It's part of the whole collection process. I know that Jordans aren't the best quality with every release, so that's just one of the things. We can kind of compare and contrast with each model which ones are actually better. Now we're going to have our flat white laces you see here with one of the cooler parts I think that Jordans do sometimes, and that's the metal aglet you get. Uh, every so often Jordan does them, but every so often they go ahead and replace them with plastic as opposed to the, what the OGs had, which are, were metal, so I'm glad they actually did that. You're going to have the Jordan 7 tongue, which is going to be done up in that Hirachi style. If you guys remember the Hirachi style basketball shoes, it's really that booty construction. Now you're going to have the Jordan written across in that Concord purple with air in between the letters. And you're going to have the kind of tribal design or whatever design you want to say with the tongue here, which is actually really cool because I never knew. Let's just, let's get both shoes up here. And I have to say shout out to, to Nightwing from Wear Testers for pointing this out because I actually watched his video on this shoe before I did the review. I didn't know that every tongue of the Jordan 7 was different. Had no idea and I actually thought they were the same until I picked mine up after watching this video. I was like, oh, they really are different. So that's that's pretty cool. That's a little feature I had no idea about. Now as we get to the, the ankle collar, which does absolutely nothing because again, it's that Hirachi style. Um, it's just kind of that, that booty construction. Everything's in the kind of the guts of the shoe. You guys can all see that here. And you're going to have your, your flint hit with that Concord Jumpman. Now, if we get to the back of the shoe, you're going to have your white pull tab here with, you're going to have that, that 23. 
Now, this is one of the cooler features of the shoe. I like the badging they've done here. Uh, you're going to have the 23 with the black and gray or the flint and uh, flint and black with the 23 there in Concord purple as well. So this is a really, really clean model. I think it could be worn more than things like the, the Raptors or the Bordeaux because I just it's really hard for me even though I do like the Jordan 6s in that black color. But for me, the Jordan 7s, I'm just not a favorite. It's not my favorite, I should say, to have that all black or all dark gray. I think the Jordan 7 looks better in a white with white accents like things like the, um, like the Olympics. Those are some of my favorites or the Cardinals. Those are some of my favorite because of the white leather. Now, as we keep going down to the shoe, we're gonna have our foam midsole. Inside, of course, it's not visible air units, but you are gonna have your air unit inside the, the heel here. I cannot remember for the life of me if there's anything in the forefoot. So please, guys, don't, don't kill me in the comments. I just can't remember if there is any forefoot cushioning when it comes to air. Now you're going to have your peaks here, which is some of the cooler details of the Jordan 7. Those peaks on the midsole you're going to have done up in white and that flint and gray as well, both on the lateral and on the heel of the medial side. And you're going to have one of the probably cooler looking outsoles, cooler looking traction patterns, and that's going to be those little circle, those circle patterns. Now it's really cool because it actually works. Um, Again, you can go, I think Wear Testers did some reviews on some Jordan retros before they really get more detail about this. But I can say from first-hand experience, I used to actually play basketball or pickup games in my Raptor 7s. And I have to say, if I had to play with any retro Jordan sneaker, it would be the Jordan 7. Not only is it very comfortable, but it also has this really, really good traction, which you would not think, just looking at these, this pattern, you would think it would slip and slide everywhere. But my goodness, it actually is very good on court, has a good bite on it. And I know this is not a performance for you, but for those who may be wondering, hey, can I, can I hoop in these? I want to hoop in a retro. This is the way to go. I mean, the Jordan 7 is probably the best along with, let's say, the Jordan 12 and Jordan 13 to hoop in. Uh, I think those three are very good in no particular order, but I say if you want to try it out, definitely, definitely do so. Now, the outsole is going to also have the different pattern, which really, you know, is very similar to the tongue where you have the different kind of angle angle pieces here in different colors from the white and the concord uh but of course with your jump man at the bottom as well so again very very clean shoe nothing too crazy about it again i don't think sevens are super popular unless it's in those bordeaux or raptor colorways or even cardinal colorways i think certain ones are just i don't want to say men since they're not good i just don't think that they're really popular again the example is i was able to walk in many stores foot lockers champs so on and so forth you know, a few months back and these are actually still sitting. Now they weren't on sale by any means, but they were still sitting. And yeah, I mean, again, they eventually sell out. I mean, they always do. Check your resale markets if you do want these. Still check your stores. Maybe they have them sitting around. If maybe it's a smaller town store and they don't have as much traffic in and out and resellers aren't out there just killing the inventory. So if you like these, definitely try your local store. But if not, I want to say the resale market is pretty pretty light on these. I mean, you're still going to pay above retail, but it won't be as big of a hit as, you know, some of the other Jordan sneakers. Now, with that, again, we have 11 more sneakers to add to the collection to finish this off. We have some time left in here to get it done, but I'm pretty excited. Again, Mike, thank you for the trade. Uh, if you haven't joined our Discord, I need to find a link so I can put it down below so you can do so, the Sneaker History Discord. And guys, let me know what you think about the series so far. Do you like these as well? Do you have them? Not have them? You want to find them? Let me know. I love you guys' comments. I love the support you guys provide. And until next time, see ya.